Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, today is Sunday. Carol just left to go up to the cottage, took her kayak with her. I have to stay behind and do work. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll have to uh, go out. I was going to go out today, but Ben has my car at work. And so I don't have no real way of going out to do a food review right now. Don't really want to do a food review right now, so I'll just shoot it tomorrow, edit it tomorrow, put it out tomorrow, make a whole vlog out of it. But today was, uh, we slept in, not too late, but we slept in a little bit. And then uh, I put the vlog together, and then after I put the vlog together, I worked on my channel art. And then I also worked on... Uh, my avatar so I've been looking at a lot of other vlogger avatars and I wasn't sure if I wanted to go artworkish, but I, I wanted it to be now different from the big channel I want the vlogging channel travel vlogs and everything to be completely different than the KBD Productions TV because it almost seems I, I tried way back in the, in the day tried to make them all kind of the same so that when somebody types in KBD, it, it, you might hit off on any of the, the channels. Uh, and depending on whether you liked gaming at the time, toys, uh, the Periscope, uh, what else? <laughs> I did a whole bunch of things. You always got to try these things. Some people don't like the fact that I have a lot of channels, but you have to, as a YouTuber, you got to try and find the thing that you like the best. Find the thing that works for you. Uh, the thing that makes you the most money. So... Back in the day, I did cat videos. I'm going on a little tangent here. Cat videos, roller coaster reviews, uh, and that was all on the big channel. Uh, and then, uh, then I tried toys, did gaming, and the toy channel actually started doing well. But buying these toys and trying to make that channel work was very expensive so you had to you go out and buy some toys especially if something's new that was the kind of thing to do buy a new toy that just came out and do a little review of it and make a little fun kid video and in hopes that it would get a lot of views so some of these things especially like a lego set they could be up anywhere from 50 to four five hundred dollars for some of these big lego sets and uh, i just couldn't afford to do that at a time, but the channel, the channel itself started, it actually started to go, but the food channel took off first. So I put all my effort and time into the food channel and I really enjoyed doing it at that time. I still enjoy doing it. Uh, but I, I, I think I will enjoy doing vlogging way more because I can incorporate food into it. When I go, uh, you know, when Carol and I went to San Francisco, you know, we, we took the camera into the into the restaurants where we ate, showed you what we ate, showed you what was on the menu. Uh, we didn't really discuss how much things cost like that. We should we will probably enter that into it in the near future. But uh, yeah, so that's that's why you have multiple channels. You try all these different things. If you already know something's going to work, then go for it, hundred percent into that channel. Go 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 go. But uh, right now, I'm trying to get the vlog channel going as much as possible because that's what I really want to do for the next. I don't know, two to five, ten years, whatever, however long it lasts uh, with your support. And I know you guys come and go. I won't see you for a few months and all of a sudden you come back. Hey, what are you talking about? Where'd you get the new snake from? Or, you know what I mean? Because people don't watch you every single day. They don't have time. So I totally get that because I do the same thing. Right now I'm on, a, I'm on an Adam the Woo kick. So I enjoy watching his videos of him going into traveling across the country right now he's just in in hollywood but he's he's making daily vlogs about the area in which he lives in hollywood which is very cool uh and one of the la latest ones uh he he knows of the church or the school or i think it's a church but it has an auditorium in it and with a stage and everything and apparently or not apparently it is the actual back to the future uh, sea of Enchantment dance thing where uh, Marty goes and plays up on stage and so he knows where it is and he shows you the steps where Marty almost steals the the almanac out of Biff's pocket and and uh, where you know um, McFly punches out Biff and all that stuff so he knows that location but 
the doors have always been closed. And then just recently he was doing what he's happened to be walking past and the door was open to the auditorium. So he snuck in and it's kind of walked around there. They're shooting a movie there or, or the uh, a crew was setting up for a shoot in there for whatever production he didn't know. And, uh, but it was so cool. And that's why I really like Adam the Woo because he just goes and finds these movie locations and shows them to you and, and uh, so, yeah, someday. I, again, I met Adam the Woo last year at VidCon. Met him again this year at VidCon. He is actually in one of my vlogs while I was there. And uh, I, I texted him, I think the next day after all of you guys were telling me, oh my God, Adam the Woo. And I was thinking, wow, so many of you guys already know who he is. It would be so cool to do a, a collab with him while I'm there. But uh, he didn't come back the next day. He only went there for the first two days. And uh, so it was too late and I didn't have a car and uh, anyway so I would love to fly back out west or uh, apparently he's going to be do traveling across the United States again in his Winnebago and uh, so it'd be so cool if he got you know find out how far east he's coming and then drive down and meet him somewhere and like freaking tag along with him uh, if he's willing to do that I'm not sure if he's willing to do that or not but we'll see I'll contact him again and uh, he did ask me uh, where I was or, uh, or you like the idea of doing the collab. Um, but again, it was too late by the time we figured that all out. So, uh, big ramble day for you guys. Uh, let me check the camera for a second. Six minutes and 42 seconds of me rambling, but, uh, I just wanted to give you an update. You'll be seeing that new avatar of me with my hand wave and wearing my Canadian hoodie, uh, in a plane. So, People have already mentioned that they really like the idea of the the background um, looking more travel vlogish. Uh, my avatar being more uh, branded for what that channel is. So me on an airplane with my Canadian shirt on, waving. Uh, in the future, I'd like to change it again, especially when Carol starts being in them more, and Ben, and uh, maybe do like a. a th three people picture because I've seen again uh, the family vloggers they do that they have all the people members of the family like Rowan Atwood and and several others but um, so yeah so things are looking up uh, I've got my business card I've got my uh, channel all set up I just need a website possibly in the near future and uh, Teespring is another t-shirt company and I'm we've, we're remaking a whole bunch of new merchandise so there's another update for you, but I'm just, I've been waiting. I bet, I don't think I've talked to you about that too much in the, in the last couple months. Uh, yeah, maybe the last six weeks so that Teespring approached me and wants me to sell my stuff. And I said, sure, let's do this. They're actually helping me create artwork and new t-shirt designs, stickers. I want to have like Ninja, Louie, Sunny, Sam, and, uh, the snake, uh, stickers and stuff and they'll be like Ken Dominic's vlogs or whatever on the bottom or KPD Productions TV or something I don't know we'll figure it out but uh yeah so and then we're all gonna then we'll be adding that stuff to the Patreon page too so the people that are donating over a certain amount of money they'll get either discounts off merch uh but if they're I think the $50 or more every three months they get anything they want from the merchants. I, don't quote me on this yet. It'll say it on Patreon when that happens. So, yeah, don't get ahead of me here. So tonight, it's, it's five after or 10 after three in the afternoon. It's a very stormy looking sky. It was really hot and sunny earlier, but it's nice and calmed down uh, or cooled down a bit. So I don't know what we're doing for dinner tonight, but uh, Carol, Reminded we had this hollandaise sauce, which was one of my favorite hollandaise sauces from a powder. Uh, it's easy. It's, apparently, it's very easy to make it from scratch. But uh, I've bought this a couple times in the past, and the Knorr, uh, K N O R R one brand. I think they're both good. Uh, so if you don't want to do it yourself, these little packages do a great job, and I think it serves about four people. Uh, so we've got the English muffins. Maybe Ben and I will do a little vlog tomorrow uh, or the next day uh, of us making uh, Eggs Benedict at home. Uh, we need ham, so I'm going to have to look in the fridge to see if we have ham because I like that freshly circle things of ham that you can buy. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, my kids and I will be watching uh, Empire Strikes Back. So we have literally watched every single Star Wars. So uh, Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace, uh, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, always forget the third one. And then we watched uh, Rogue One, and then New Hope yesterday. And uh, tonight is going to be Empire Strikes Back, and then. Return of the Jedi, and then the last one. And that will gear us up for the newest one, number eight. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That was just a talking vlog. Uh, I wish I could have taken you out to do something, but uh, again, I don't have a car. I'm, I'm thinking about taking you guys on a bike ride. Uh, there's, a, there's a path that goes down the Don Valley to Toronto, and uh, it's a pretty cool path. I did it once with Paul. Uh, I'm thinking about doing it again with Ben and possibly with Carol. Uh, we'll see what everybody's schedule is like in the next few days. And uh, yeah, so a couple of cool things I've been looking forward to. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy vlogs like this where I'm just updating you on things that are going to be happening or things that I just did, like my channel, artwork, and and uh, what's it called, branding and all that stuff. So look forward to all the cool things coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.